Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Tweakaroo video. Today we are looking at fast block placement. Fast block placement is really awesome when you are doing large areas and you can see where I've been experimenting with this mod just so I can show you how it works. I also have a beacon up so I can improve my speed and that again shows you just how powerful this mod is. I'll show you with blocks, slabs and carpet. Blocks is awesome. Slabs and carpet, there's just some things you kind of need to be aware of. First things first then folks, how we set this mod up. So X plus C opens the tweakaroo config. You want to go into your tweak hotkey, so left click there. I already have tweak fast block placement set up to left control plus J. It will look like this for you, it'll say none. Left click on it, set your hotkey, so I'm holding left control and then the J key. And then left click with your mouse somewhere in the blank space. That's the tweak setup, but there is with this mod some extra stuff. So we're going to go into generic hotkeys and I'm just scrolling down to placement restriction modes. And you can see the Z plus a number key changes the restriction mode. And this is actually really useful for various different options. And I'm going to show you most of these going forward. If we hit escape to come out of the menu, we then can go and test this mod. I'm going to turn fast, fast block placement off and then I'm going to run, I'm going to hold right click here, and I'm just going to run backwards. See how I'm missing gaps? And every so often, if I change my mouse, it changes the orientation of the block. So we have lots of mistakes in here. And I could demonstrate again if we do, for example, this. We're getting mistakes as we do it. Now, if I wanted to do a diagonal, for example, this is really powerful. This is one of the best demonstrations I can give. This is diagonal. It's working here. But if I, I mess up my diagonal, it's OK. But I've got those mistakes where I've had to adjust my mouse or my keyboard buttons and it causes errors. And if I do something like this, I think not diagonal. So let's turn fast block placement on. And it is in plain mode. I'm going to use Z plus... Z plus five, which turns it into diagonal mode. Cause like I said, this is one of the most powerful demonstrations I can give you. And so you can see that it's working. So I'm gonna hold right click and now, look, I'm holding right click. It is not placing blocks. It placed one there because that is in the diagonal kind of line. You see how I can just move all around. I don't have to worry about where I'm facing. Isn't that awesome? I can place an extra block in there. So that is one of the most powerful examples. Now, if we do this one, so I think this was in, I think it would have been in plain mode. And if I start here, see how, hey, how quickly it plays those, but let's run back. Now we should probably turn this to line mode because if I just sort of, if I do this and then move, you see how that's going. But again, isn't that awesome? And they're all in the correct orientation as well. So that's really useful. Um, we can do... There we go, because fast block placement's on. If I turn it into, turn it into line, uh, let's try layer mode. I can never remember which ones do which. You see how that isn't allowing me to place on the floor or above. I can place to the side because it's in that particular mode. So that's worth knowing we have line mode as well. So again, if I try this, line mode's a slightly strange one in that it seems to just not work quite as you expect, but I can only place them in that orientation. So some really useful features in fast block placement mode. I encourage you to, to play about with them. If you're doing things like stair placement as well, I think we can, uh, we can demonstrate this. Which mode did we turn on? We have line mode. Let's see how this works. See how that's placed them completely and utterly accurate in the line? Absolutely superb, right? So that makes it just so much easier to uh, to place blocks. Now we can do this with carpet and we can do it with slabs as well. But there are some caveats. It's not quite as accurate as the full blocks. So you just need to be a little bit careful with this. So which mode were we in? We're in line. We're going to switch to plane. There we go. So. If I just place like that, it is absolutely fine. No errors, no slabs going on top. I mean, let's try that with it turned off. So now fast block placement is turned off. That's okay, but again, we get these gaps. So it's okay 
but it's not as accurate. So with flash, fast block placement, you're not missing anything. The And you can sort of do this. Oops, I didn't turn it back on. Well, that was silly of me, wasn't it? There we go. So you can see no gaps. Uh, if I just go out here, it's okay. If I place like this, this is okay right now. But if you sort of just get that slightly wrong, it does some weird stuff where it, it starts to put stuff on top. This doesn't happen with blocks. It only happens with slabs. So with slabs, you just, as long as you're, you're moving the same direction, you are good. You're not going to miss anything. It's more accurate than not having it. Like so. You're not getting any slabs on top. You're not going to have to correct it. And it does the same with carpet as well. I'm holding right click. It is not placing any more carpet. If I turn it off and hold right click, it, it places another block on. So if you're doing a line, I have it turned off at the moment. You miss gaps. And occasionally, if you hit something, you'll end up with carpet on top. If I turn it back on, see how I'm not getting any gaps. I'm not getting anything on top. And when I hit that block, it's not, not placing anything on top. So it makes everything all that little bit quicker. If you're doing large floor space areas, so, so, so much quicker. And if you're, you're doing kind of paths and things like that, also much quicker. Folks, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, give it a subscribe. Let me know down in the comments that you subscribed. I'd love to say hello. Also, let me know if there's any tweaks you want me to cover. I will be doing as many videos on Tweakaroo as I possibly can. But if I can bump up the priority to help you guys out, I will absolutely do that. Anyway, folks, that's all I've got time for with this video. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.